Without doubt, this is going to be our most luxury stay we've ever had. Welcome back to your Daily Dose and welcome to Staycation Sunday. Sitting right next to Disney World, a short five minute drive just on the north side of the 1,000 acre property of Evermore sits the Conrad. Our very first five star resort staycation. This is the first five star resort I've ever stayed at. And of course we're here with Casey. Hello, good morning. Happy Staycation Sunday. We're back at it and this one is gonna be a good one. Here we're gonna find an eight acre Evermore Bay Lagoon, private pools, 36 holes of Jack Nicholas designed golf, spa amenities, and five dining and lounge options here at the Conrad. Today we're lucky enough to be experiencing the spa right here in the morning. We're gonna be checking on into a room, have some food, drinks, and of course dinner at their specialty restaurant. Here's a breakdown of the location. Evermore is directly located to the right of Disney property. Here's Epcot, and then here is where the Magic Kingdom is. It is less than a five minute drive, and you're on Walt Disney World property. And then before we go on in, a huge shout out to the Conrad for hosting us. And actually guys, this is our very, very first paid staycation that we've ever had. So I have to say thank you guys for tuning in. It's really paid off, and now um, we're here. This is gonna be awesome. I know, we've. I'm so happy we started this series of staycation Sundays. It's an awesome way to see different options around Orlando and around property. And this one is so close to Disney that it practically feels like it is. Might be Disney as well. I mean, it's a huge, <laughs> huge property. Yeah. But uh, we actually have the spot to go in the morning. We're gonna head on in. I think they're gonna take our bags and you know, we're having a full vlog, a mega vlog today. So buckle on up, have some coffee and have a good Sunday, guys. Let's go on in, let's check in. Let's do it, let's go. Walking up to the property, um, it feels, honestly, it doesn't feel like it's Orlando. I feel like we're in another state. Um, it's absolutely stunning. I love the, the neutral building vibes. And honestly, I cannot wait to go see inside because I'm sure it's absolutely stunning. We're actually walking on up in the, the bus route. To the left is Valet. Um, you can, valet your car i think it's actually encouraged here at the conrad conrad orlando bus will take you to all of the disney parks oh there's the evermore bus we have a tro uh, trolley yeah last time we were here we uh, were seeing the evermore property and, it, and the conrad is just north well it's in the evermore property but it's just north of the the crystal lagoon this is a nice bus look at those seats we're going to the disney parks in style I feel like we are in just the middle of nowhere. And it's kind of a great feeling. It is. When you come to Disney, of course, there's so many tourists and locals nearby. So this is actually a really nice escape from the crowds. So far coming in, it is a little bit early this morning, so that could have something to do with it. But there, there are only a few people that we've seen out and about. It's just us. We got the whole place to ourselves. Here's a look at the outside. Valet is right outside, so, you know, get ready to do whatever you do with Valet. I think we're gonna head on in here right away. We have 30 minutes until our spa treatments. Casey's getting a facial and I'm getting a massage. Welcome to the Conrad. Got some nice fancy cars, Escalades, parked out front. Let's go see what the lobby is. First time here, morning. Oh my goodness. That is quite the welcome. I don't know if you guys can see it, but look at that crystal lake. Check-in desk over to the left. And they're playing Taylor Swift. All right. Yeah, that's why I was like, they're playing Taylor Swift. Look at that. So there's a balcony as well. There's a balcony? Oh, we can go out. Over here. Oh, is that it? I think so, yeah. Yeah. Wow. You ready to have a nice staycation? I'm so ready. I cannot wait to go explore. This is just coming in. This is absolutely insane, this view. I can't wait to uncover what's next. <laughs> I mean, I'll tell you what's next. We've, we've got the spa. I can't wait to check it out. This is actually the first spa. We actually walked by it. 
that reminds me of Alani's spa. It's an indoor and then an outdoor spa, like their nature garden. Can't wait to check that out. But we're gonna check on in. I don't know when or room is gonna be ready. Seating area over here to the left. That desk looks like it's made out of gold. It probably is. <laughs> All checked in and ready to go. They took our bags. This, wow. This feels like an all-inclusive. And do you hear that? It's so peaceful. I don't know if they can hear it, but we can hear the fountain down there. It's so relaxing and peaceful here. Let me show you what we're looking at wow. here. <laughs> I could live here. I believe on both sides they have a balcony which overlooks the stunning property. Again, this is my first time at the Conrad. We were lucky enough to explore Evermore a while ago. Actually, this is the only balcony out here from the lobby, but this is what I was talking about. Casey was talking about. Very peaceful. It's like a chill vibe where we can go at our own pace. Got, got great weather today. 90s, no rain. That's where we're eating dinner tonight at the specialty restaurant. It's gonna be a fun staycation. I don't know how I forgot about this, but look at the water they gave us. Christian, who checked us in, he asked if we wanted water and I'm happy I said yes. I didn't expect it to come in the box. Spring water from the natural springs of America. I love drinking out of what feels like a milk jug. <laughs> I love it. This is so fun. Well, we have plenty of time to tour and just go about all the food options, the bars here where we have an early appointment at the spa. It opens at 9, but they're letting us on in at 8.30 to show you guys the spa in, in peace. So let's go check that out. And if you guys are new on here, please do me a favor, hit the subscribe button, and then everybody thumbs the video up. Staycation Sunday is back. It's kind of hard to believe that this is only our second staycation of the year because is we did really? one like every weekend. Yeah. Are the you first, sure? The first one was at Disney and now the second one's here. So mm -hmm. many more to come, but more. <laughs> here we are. By the way, this is a flagship Conrad. So it's basically the top of the top. Well, they're carbon copy of this and place them all around the world. So we're staying at a Primo. Conrad right here in Orlando and look what we just got. This is our very own bunny. This is the mascot of the Conrad. So over there at the Evermore their mascot is what do you say an otter and they decided to go with the bunny which is why if you look on the balconies you can see little bunny. Um, I don't know if it's a chair I guess we'll find out later but there's bunnies all over on the balconies and we got our very own. Each Conrad has their very own mascot and they went with a bunny here. But with that, let's head on over to the spa. We've been kind of soaking in here, enjoying the moment, and we're running late. So let's head on over there. Oh boy. Wow, I, I, whoa. Is this gonna look okay? Whoa, I, this kind of feels like the Hunger Games. You guys know what I mean? It looks like the, the Tribute Center. Very nice. Spa is gonna be right over here to the left. We just got handed this key, so if you come early, um, or after checkout, they have an early arrival or early checkout lounge. It's just on the first floor outside. Um, so yeah, you can have access to this before your room's ready. That's very nice. Didn't really expect that. But um, I think we have to go down one or is it right here? Oh, you know, it's right here. Oh my the Conrad so Spa. Stunning. Okay. I mean, wow. I didn't expect anything less. Let's head on over. It is covered too in case it is raining, so that's nice. Because we are here in Florida after all. It's so quiet. It's like a Zen garden. <laughs> now, like I said, there is actually an outside version of the spot too. We got to see a little bit of it when we were walking on up here. Fitness center. And here's a little bit of the spa that we're gonna be checking on out. The lobby of the spa in the, the center is actually stairs to get on down to the spa. 
and the water garden, which we're about to go see. All right, hibiscus kombucha shots. This is the first. <laughs> So you're not supposed to take this like a shot, even though it's a hibiscus shot. I was like, do you just throw it back? No. Sip it. Sip it. Sip and Light and refreshing. Let's head on down. Look at these stairs. Before we go on out and check the water garden, here's the stairs that we just came down. This is Serenity Lounge. It's a co-ed area. As you can tell, like it is very high end. It's beautiful. It's quiet. I'm very thankful to get this opportunity to show you guys. Look at these chairs over here. And it's like divided as well. Very nice furniture. And then to the left, we're gonna have all the offerings of just little snacks. We have hot water, and I think there's some honey here too. What do we got here? I think tea, yep, some tea. Peppermint. Signature snacks contains nuts. Some more boxed water. Infused spa water, and then we have some ginger peach mango tea infused and it contains coffee caffeine coffee <laughs> but yeah what a welcoming environment this could very well be the best spa i've ever been to because now we're gonna head on out to the water garden welcome to the water garden this is a co-ed space so this is where we're gonna enjoy lounging there's a lot of chairs and a lot of spaces just to enjoy like the tranquility tranquility of the environment i'm assuming this might get very packed i don't know honestly but there's a lot of like private seating like every area has like a separate seating area so i don't really feel like it's going to get too crowded as you come out here to enjoy this peacefulness before your treatment. All the, like, the water baths are going to be back to the left. But as you can see, there, there's like different cubbies. So I feel like you're, you can kind of choose an area, but it's gorgeous. Check it out. That's going to be the women's locker room. And the men's is over there. We'll check that space out here in a second. But it's really nice that we're able to see... The treatment area before anybody kind of comes here. This is going to be the hot plunge. I think they recommended seven minutes in here. And then the cold plunge to clear up your mind. Two minutes in this bad boy. And then we have the water jets, and the waterfall. I feel like a lot of people probably come on in this section. An outdoor spa. It's been a while since I've been able to experience an outdoor spa. It's gorgeous. It's stunning. I'm gonna use it to relax. We have about like two hours here before we go see the room. I don't know what room we have, so I'm very excited to see that. Oh, what is over here? It's like outdoor, it's an outdoor tub, soaking tub. Look at it, two bathtubs. It is guarded off, so. I don't know if we can utilize that. What do you guys think? I feel really blessed to be able to show you guys this and, and be here, that's for sure. We're at our very first Conrad. If we, hopefully you guys like this, then we, I don't know, what if we go to more Conrads around the world? That'd be nice. This is by Hilton too, by the way. Oh, it looks like this is, if you have rooms down here, this is like the private access. I wonder if they can get a day pass. Let's go see what the locker rooms are all about. One last note, this whole area is designed and developed and inspired with Florida Natural Springs in mind. Hold up, there's a spa journal here. This is cool. <laughs> Today's my 31st birthday. Neat. I don't know, is it, did any of you guys do this? Pretty cool. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> We got our own private locker here and our robe. So it's time to get changed and we're gonna go to Casey's facial here too.
I think it's safe to say Casey's enjoying herself. We're gonna head on to her facial, right? Now, let's do it. Let's, let's do it. Drinking my mango tea. I just had a little snippy snack. The product that she's using is what celebrities in Europe use all the time. And this is actually the only place in America you can get this treatment. First one, first one, and only. I'm about to get a celebrity facial. All I gotta say is this is probably the best spa I've ever, ever been to. It is immaculate. This is of highest quality I have personally ever experienced. This is flawless. And the service, amazing. Amazing. This is the first facial I ever got to witness to, which is really kind of cool. How is your treatment? I'm floating on a cloud right now. Like, I've only ever gotten two facials before. And this, this far outweighs the other ones that I've gotten. This is so comfy. <laughs> you weren't supposed to pop up. This is definitely a first. I don't think I've ever came to a hotel and went directly to the spa, but what an experience, like, unbelievable. Unbelievable, it was, yeah. it was great. I feel rejuvenated, mm -hmm. I'm hungry, I want to drink, I want to relax, mm -hmm. I want to go to the room, there's plenty to explore, so it was great. It was absolutely fantastic. The, just the service there is top notch. Mm -hmm. The amenities that you have now unfortunately i did forget to put my bathing suit on before we got to the spa in my suitcase at the front desk and i was like i don't really need to go and get it so i just decided to take a, sh a shower in the regular showers um there are so many options there yeah, feels super relaxed great start to our weekend you know what something very little i recognize as a dragonfly down here he looks a little injured um is uh, the person who came and got me from a massage even knew who my name was like yeah she came up to me when there's mm -hmm. other people in there. So it's like they know your face somehow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great. They must have some something. hidden thing when you check in. It's they great. make notes or something, but it, is, it really is top-notch service. Our room just came available, but we do want to go to the lounge real quick because they're delivering our luggage. We got to go check out mm -hmm. the lounge. We have to be there for the luggage. Yes. Is there stairs? Um, I guess we could take the elevator. We're not on a cruise, so we can take the no. stairs. Part of me feels like we are though, because looking out, you see water and it kind of reminds me of the ocean. I just, I'm, I'm we're, stunned, I'm stunned. We're I'm on relaxed. the sixth floor too, guys. Nice. Sixth floor, I think that's the top floor. I have no it's idea. Like, I don't know. Seems like the top floor. Elevator. Ooh. Where are we going, one? One. There's eight, so we're kind of up there. Kind of on the top. Say, how did you know that we were I didn't know. <laughs> I thought like, six was pretty see. high. Oh gosh. Wow. Well, this is top notch. Look, oh, Casey, look at this. Oh, 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 oh. That is so cool. It looks like the lounge is right over here. Oh, it's where we're dining tonight. Oh, look at that cool Siba. Picture. Nice. All right, so here's the lounge if your room isn't ready or if you, you're checking out early. So it looks like there's gonna be some food options in here. I don't know if it's... Okay, maybe not. Well, here's something. This might just be a place to get drinks later on in the day. Actually, yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah. I think this is where we're gonna be a little bit later. My bad, guys. Sorry, this is the first time we're here. Arrival Departure Lounge. Let's check it out. You need a key to get in. They give it to you at the desk. Nice and quiet. Oh, it's big. Is it like restrooms? Oh, yeah. Actually, just, but they have lockers, so I think oh. they have, um, they okay. definitely have places where you can get changed, because that's what they did say. If you need to get ready, you can come in here. Oh, it's nice. Wow. I don't think I've ever had this in a hotel. Guess Wi-Fi too. I was wondering how I connect. Well, there it is. Yeah, that's nice. Perfect. I guess let's go see the locker room. I can see it once. Oh, it's right here. If there's nobody in here. Yeah. This is very nice. The lights were the lights were sensor too. As I walked in, they they lit up. Okay. 
This is like first class living. It's time to go to the room, everyone. Let's do it. I don't even know what kind of room we have. Again, thank you to the Conrad. Like, this is amazing. It smells exciting. Six, four. If you want to have a room key, you can have a physical key or you can get one of these wristbands so you don't have to worry about it. And it's tied nice and tight so it won't come off. We're at room 695. Check out these hallways. Spacious, all brand new basically. This just opened like a month ago. And there's a baby crib. I think we're all the way at the, the back. Is that a doorbell? Do you see the button? I think that's a doorbell, this thing right here. Pretty sure it is. Now this is a room, everybody. This is a room. We're getting our luggage dropped off right now. I, I cannot wait to do a room tour. This is, this is stunning. All I gotta say is, wow, oh, we all prepare yourselves. Cause this is top notch. Quite possibly one of the best rooms I've, I've ever seen in my life. Like these touches are pristine. So without further ado, welcome to our, our room. It looks like we have a King Deluxe balcony that overlooks the crystal clear lagoon. So we have our door. This is where we have entered full mirror, but it's not like just a basic mirror. Like look at the the design of it and like the detail, it's rather fancy. And then we have our switches here, off, entry, do not disturb, makeup room. I'll show you once we go outside how those all work. But first impressions, babe, what, what do you think? This is a view that is unreal. The room itself is so clean. I love the features. It just looks very new, very fresh. And quite honestly, I don't feel like I'm in central Florida. I feel like I'm in another country, another state, honestly. Like this, it's a lot to take in and a lot to see in the room itself. Well, let's check it out. We first have this. I don't know what This could just be a place this. if you wanna like drop your phone, purse maybe, I don't know. I guess. Yeah. That's cool. I like that there's a light right here. Just like the little touches. They really thought of everything. Like, look at this. Here's going to be our storage. It's just a very cool design. It's like built in. So, closet. Mm -hmm. We have robes, of course, slippers. This is cool because this is. Um, oh, is that like a brush for your suits? Oh, they have complimentary shoe shine services. Oh, this is for shoe shining? Yeah, so this <laughs> is this to put your, yeah, this to put oh, your shoes on. Oh, I so brought mine. That's so cool. Yeah, yeah. Nice. This is nice because you can even put your shoes on here if you wanted to. I love how I didn't know what that was. That's cool. Um, Slippers, heard. robe. Look at, what? <laughs> Look at this. What? These hangers. They're not all like that. There's two of these, but it's still a really nice touch. Wait, look at this. Your shoe's here too and it's angled. Is that for shoes? It's gotta be for shoes, right? What know. else would you, that's, that's look. Yeah, maybe. You know, you know what I mean? Shoes, you gotta display your shoes. True, you gotta play. That's cool, like look that's at this, you don't see this. What is this? More storage, purse maybe? Or just whatever you wanna yeah, put in there? Just more storage. Iron. Wait, did you show this? Oh no, I didn't even see that. <laughs> it's safe, it's hidden. Very nice decent safe. safe. Yeah, very nice. And then we have one more all the way at the end. What is that one? The one at the end? Yeah. That one's air conditioning. Oh, so nothing. Yeah. Okay. I got a little button here. It says day and relax. I'm going to turn it on day. Just brightens up our bathroom. This bathroom is amazing, y'all. Like, look at how beautiful this is. Unbelievable. I. I'm too stunned to speak. It's just gorgeous. Like even look at her shower. Wow. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. Here's all of her soap, hair conditioner, hair shampoo, body wash. Okay, this is uh, a 10 out of 10 for this shower. If you're wondering where our toilet is, Casey, do you mind opening that toilet door? Yeah. Exactly, oh. right there. Oh it's a little, it's a little hidden. Ooh, wait, is this, is this? It's a floating toilet. Or is this one that sprays us? No. Ah, that would've been, that would've been cool. <laughs> wait, look at the, shower. look at this. It's fancy how you flush it. Mm -hmm. 
Well, that's neat. Some uh, luxury touches here, that's for sure. Like even notice the little gap up here so the light's hidden. You guys notice that? And then this is gonna bleed on in to our room, which Casey is going to, oh, what'd you find? Oh, a hair dryer, and it's nice because they have a few attachments if you need a, I think this is a diffuser, That's or a nice not dryer. a diffuser. What one do we what have in here? Hmm. I have no, you got, you got all that. Look at this. They have all the attachments. This is awesome. That is not normal in a hotel. No. You know, in case you want to use it. Oh, extra toilet paper too. Extra toilet paper. What a stunning bathroom. Like, show them all this too. Body oh no, I, I didn't show them what it kind of is. is. This looks so nice. Body lotion, mouthwash, there's Q-tips and cotton, cotton balls in here. Shower cap. Okay. And there's a plant. I love it, I love the no, plant. I don't see the, like, is this a succulent technically? No, I don't think so. No, it's just a, it's just a all right, let's go in the bedroom. I'm really pumped like to see this. The hooks are nice and flushed. Man. Yeah, wow, I was right. Oh, you know what I did notice? I mean, miss? Hmm. What is this? Look, there's a door. Oh. Yeah. Huh. It's on the other side, too. So you can close it off if you want. Okay, hi. Hi. Here's our king bed. Test it out. I, oh my gosh, look at, mess it up yet. Look at this. It. Look at how nice this is. Oh, slow closing. That's nice. Mm -hmm. You don't want to mess it up? No, because I, I want to take a video too. <laughs> it is quite the top-notch bedroom. Definitely don't see this every day. That is for sure. Now here's going to be our coffee station. I haven't really done too much exploring. Oh, like, wow. Casey, look. I saw that, yeah. Oh my gosh. It's a nice, nice rose gold bottle opener. All right, here's our coffee machine and in room dining from I believe 9 a.m. till midnight, 6.30 until midnight. Well, yeah, so breakfast is 6.30 to 11, but the first meal of the day, of course, breakfast starts at six and then you can get this menu until midnight. Oh, it's a gosh. Good, I mean, honestly, what more do you need? I wish I was here more than one night. I feel like I'm on I'm at an all-inclusive resort. Yeah, except this is not included in this drawer. No. <laughs> this one right here. This half is, but then we have like the little snacks and if I pull it on up, it's gonna charge us. You have 10 seconds to, mm -hmm. to, you know, put it back if you don't want it. So there's that. Espresso pods. And then uh, I think these are gonna be the drinks, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we got the drinks. Got wine, soda, anything you could imagine. The, like this room is just so nice. Like you can just tell like the luxury touches that you don't normally see. I like I like this too because they have so many environmentally friendly and sustainability projects at this resort, and they give you one of these bottles that you can refill around the property. King bed. I just really like the the painting on the back. Here's our couch and table. Look at this nice carpet. Special. That's nice. This is, this is super fancy looking. Yeah. And it's comfortable. Look at- Like it's very comfortable. I can I can see myself living in this one room. Like I could live here. Look at that too. I know. So fancy. I really like all the little details. This could quite possibly one of the best like normal rooms oh, yeah. that isn't like a one bedroom suite in all of central Orlando. Like look at that big mirror. A mirror within a mirror. <laughs> Essentially, love it. two love it leather tables have that table to, to eat same with this one too for room service But then we also have or balcony We have a seat. We have a, a love seat as well It's a private balcony too No neighbors. There's the bunny. So it's not a seat. It's just like a little a little mascot, a little mascot essentially I don't know if I want to leave the room, but they're like it gets better over here as well. There's just so much to do in one day. Good thing we are pretty much free until the end of the night where we have dinner at the Signature Dining, Saba all the way on top. Looks like they're doing some morning yoga. There's a lot of activities. We actually got a sheet once we checked in. I'll show you guys that. But what an impression. 
Like you can just totally tell the the five star touches that yes, they put a lot of love into this resort. And did you mention the fireworks? Oh yeah. no, I didn't. Yeah, you I can forgot about that. See Epcot over here, and um, is that Tower of Terror behind? Yep. So yeah, you, you'll be able to see the Epcot fireworks. You can see Disney Springs over there. The um, what are those called? Air balloon. Air balloon. Thank you. Hot air balloon. But it's really cool. Nine o'clock. We want to see the fireworks. We can. I also have. I think this is like a conference center. I don't know. We have so much uh, exploring to do. Yeah, they have a convention center. I know that they do events here. I don't. I know that they do at this property. I don't know if it's exclusively here. Or Evermore does it as well. All I know, guys, is this was a ten-minute take. Look at this room. I it <laughs> it deserves it. This is quite the room. Quite the room at that. It's beautiful. What a job. How we go? You wanna get some food? We gotta figure out what we all have. They have four offerings for food and um, you can also go to the Evermore property which has food all the way on the other side. But we're just gonna stay here within the, the Con Conrad to show you what they all have just specifically for here. Time is flying. We got here at eight. It's already like 12.30 odd one. Well, we're back here in the main lobby and we're doing some exploring before we go get some food. We basically have the whole evening or just sorry, the afternoon to explore and the evening is just going to be the signature restaurant. Looks like this is Little Spoon. So this is kind of like a grab and go area for food. Let's, let's check it out. Like muffins, croissants, pastries, coffee. Ooh, candy. Okay, we got gummy bears, we got lollipops. I didn't I didn't expect this. It's like you can just freely grab. Is it free? No. <laughs> it kinda looks like it. Definitely not. Yeah, it's definitely not free. A lot of assortments of little snacks here at Little Spoon. Looks like you can get the quick over the quick service over here. Coffee, caramel macchiatos. I probably will be there right there with you. Otherwise, I'm going to need a little afternoon nap. Cold pressed juices. Is that a ginger shot? Yeah. Or turmeric. No, turmeric it says and ginger. Yeah, yeah. Gin, wow. ginger on the right. They're all about health and wellness. All about health and wellness. And then here's a look at Little Spoon. Just the, the cafe itself. Uh oh, Casey. Oh my gosh. Oh, we're coming back for one of these. Wow, I want that raspberry one, and I'm sure you do too. Oh, how about these cookies? Look at that croissant. Yeah. Wow, wow. This food looks stunningly amazing. I mean, anything's going to when you're starving. Cool. Also have some things over here refrigerated. Looks like overnight oats, potentially. Yeah, overnight oats. How do I open this? It's not opening. I think it's locked right now. Oh, they we probably they probably get it for us. And ice cream too. Ooh, tiramisu vanilla bean. What's that yeast sorbet? Woohoo! Okay. Okay, we're gonna eat a lot of we're gonna eat a lot of sweets today too. This was a great first impression of food. Can't wait for lunch. Now we're actually gonna go downstairs out into like the main area and uh, go check out papaya, I believe it's called, which is what's open for now. And I believe in about 10 minutes, there's one downstairs below us that opens. It's kind of a way better look at the lobby. It's where we walked down before. That's where we're gonna be getting some cocktails tonight before we head up to the signature dining. This is uh, Sophia's Italian kitchen, it opens at 12.30. But we're gonna go outside. It's about time. It's like a little boardwalk here. Hello, paradise. Sophia's also has outdoor seating. I think they also do breakfast here because I did see a, quite a few people sitting out here this morning. That makes sense. And then I'm assuming they'll also do dinner. Oh, look at this big yeah. sand sculpture. Such a beautiful day. Such a beautiful resort. Such a beautiful resort. That is going to be Evermore if you guys were here a while ago. We had a first look preview at Evermore. Got a tour of those rooms too. Sandcastle, the Evermore one, it looks like it's kind of falling apart, but the Conrad run is intact. 
pretty quick look at the property itself. It is a great first impression, that is for sure. They have an event line too. I feel like this is where they have a lot of parties and potentially marriages, a wedding. I know they have a wedding line actually across the way. This is probably more of an event space. Real quick, one of the best ways to support Staycation Sundays is by hitting that subscribe button and thumbsing the, up the videos to let us know you enjoy us doing these as much as we personally enjoy experiencing it. Hey Case. <laughs> Here's gonna be the food, Papaya Club. Let's see what they have. I know we're gonna feast away. I'm hungry. Papaya Club. All right, let's go see what we have. First impressions is, this is beautiful. We're looking at the menu, we're gonna get some lunch bites, maybe some favorites, and definitely some drinks. We are here after all to relax and have a good time. We got a lounge seat, which is right actually, I, can't, I almost wanted to say the ocean, which is right by the lagoon. Casey's sitting right over there. And as soon as like people kind of disperse, I wanna show you guys the cool touches inside the Papaya Club because they're, they're top notch. It's quite a beautiful place, as I feel like I've mentioned a ton. This little beach here is exclusive to Conrad guests. Probably first come, first serve. We're a little late on that, but let's go see what they have on the menu and get to eating. The pool's actually right over here to the right. The second I get back, Casey says she already knows what she wants. So that means we've got a lot of good things on the menu. Ooh, they have octopus. <laughs> Papaya poke bowl. Hmm. Chicken wings. I kind of feel like chicken wings, but I don't know. The brioche buns. I'm just gonna highlight a few of their drinks. I don't know what I'm getting quite yet, but I, I did see some lettuce wraps on the favorites, and that kind of sounds really good at the moment. I'm trying to eat light, because tonight we're kind of gonna ball out and get a lot to eat. I feel like I'm in paradise right by the beach. It's kind of crazy that this is central Orlando and we're here at a perfect time too, meaning it's not hot or humid. Actually it is hot, it's 90 degrees, but it's not like steamy steamy. Yeah, it's not like the peak of summer, it actually, I feel like a few days ago it was miserable, but we picked a really good day. We did. We got lucky. If it was hot and humid, I'd be jumping in that lagoon right now or even going in the pool, which we still have yet to show you. There's a pool right over here and then there's the lagoon. I didn't even realize. Yeah, it's cool. I believe the pool is only for Conrad guests, though. The lagoon, anybody can go. But we do have a little reserved area for Conrad. Well, if you're at Everclear. Yeah, true. Not yeah. Sorry. We just ordered, but I kind of got to talk about it because you can totally tell you're here at a five star location just by the little details. Everything is so pristine and precise, and just you feel elevated in everything you look at. Everything. Everything's themed too. Like even the water pitcher oh, yeah. was a fish. Um, there's a lot of seafood here, but there's no other options for people that don't eat seafood. I feel the like view, it's... the view is worth the money for the second. Yeah. This is just incredible. I feel like there's a lot of touches that they even outdo Disney on these days. Meaning theming. Drinks have arrived and look at this. Okie dokie, we didn't even get like the fanciest ones. Casey got the Skylarkin, which is over here. It's just rum, hibiscus, vanilla, allspice, and lime. And then mine is the Surf Rider, which is tequila, pineapple, guava, mint, and some chile. Cheers. That's such a cool mug. Oh my gosh. Wow. It's <laughs> strong. Same. But mine's a chugger. Try mine. That is, that is to die for. Casey's is super strong. Definitely not a chugger, but it is sure good. It is all rum, though. This is a, a good bang for your buck because the amount of alcohol in here, I can taste it. This is like a one and doneer. Real quick shout out to all of the, the workers here because I feel like they wear so many different hats. Like our servers are now going to the beach. Shout out to you guys. Like they, they are hustling. They're multitasking and they're yeah. doing it with grace. Doing it with grace. This is a busy Izzy. Supposedly like a whiskey sour. It's gonna be a nice evening. <laughs> Wait, oh my gosh. 
The aftertaste is phenomenal on this. Not really like a, a beach type vibe drink, but it's kind of more of a sipper. I take this back. This drink is starting to be a chugga. Yeah, I'm curious what you're gonna think, but I am starting to love that. I don't like whiskey though, so that's not good. That is phenomenal. Wish there was less ice though. Food has arrived, y'all, and it comes fresh. It's it's cooked to order. Here we go. Casey, what did you get, my darling? I got, I believe it was called the Bon Mi sandwich. It has marinated skirt steak pickled carrots, kewpie mayo, um, some radish, and then it comes on this toasted bun with french fries, or you could substitute for salad. And then I got the brioche buns with pork belly. This looks like it's made from like a signature dining. Like, look at this. Okay, and then we got lettuce wraps with chicken thigh, mushrooms, carrots, and I believe onions. Those are, yeah, those look like onions. I've got one statement to make, just that this food is not your typical poolside food. This is top notch, which only makes me more excited to go up top and have their signature food because this is unbelievable. Shout out, shout out to dad. This Dad, this literally tastes like your grilled chicken, but I, I have to say it's a little bit better, but it's so good. This food is unbelievable. Probably the best pool food that we both have, and we're going mobile here. We're going mobile, but our room is actually located all the way to the left. We're gonna head on up there, change clothes, and go to the pool. Cause it's a gorgeous pool day. Little quick Sophia's tour, open for lunch and dinner. I'm assuming for dinner, it's gonna be a little bit more crowded. Here's kind of a look at it. Definitely might have to come back to try this out a different day because we are going to get spoiled spoiled with the signature dining upstairs. Casey's going to tap and we're in. Six, nine, five. It smells nice. It smells new. I just looked over to put my stuff down and realized we had a nice welcome gift. Okie dokie. you see those raspberries? I do. Wow. You want to do the honors and read this? Yes. While I steal a raspberry. Oh, I see a nice <laughs> handwritten note. Mm -hmm. I see what you did there. <laughs> Kyle and Casey, welcome to Conrad Orlando. We are thrilled to host you both to showcase our beautiful property. Please enjoy the street and let us know if you need anything else that Conrad Orlando might bring to you. Shout out to you all. Thank you so much. I'll need about five more of these. <laughs> options and they also have a few different syrups to choose from so I got a vanilla ice latte. It's very good. We're headed to the pool. Let's see what it's all about. Now this is only for Conrad guests. Oh wow. You're gonna have a poolside room with a little lawn. It's kind of like a shared lawn with those who also have the pool view. Now here it is. Now it's obviously not gonna be the biggest pool because we do have the lagoon of access. No slides, just a nice place to come here and enjoy. So you know a spot is available if it says available and we got one right, right by the pool which is a really nice spot. It's in the shade because right now it's pretty toasty out. And I was definitely gonna burn if we were in the sun. Wow, I'll take it. It's so nice, I almost had to ask myself if this is included and it is, you don't have to pay for this. Super nice. There's actually a lot of available ones right now, but we got lucky because all of them are in the sun that are available on that side. That might be what people want though. 
That's Probably. why a lot of people want to be in the sun, whereas we are like, <laughs> we're like us away. We step out in the sun, it's instant burn. <laughs> we're gonna check out the lagoon too. But we just wanna relax for a little bit. Here's the pool. It's beautiful. There's a lot of pool facing rooms as well. Now mainly there has been a lot of adults, but obviously at the pool you're gonna find kiddos. And if you do have kiddos, there's a kids club somewhere around here we still have yet to find. So if you just wanna drop your kids off and go do whatever adult activities you wanna do or they wanna go hang there, you can do that. They, they do have like an activity or a place where they can do activities and you can do your activities. Listen y'all, this is a pool that I can chill by for a long time. It's relaxing. I just ran on into one of you guys and they said it's actually warm. Casey would love this. The lagoon is colder, which makes sense because it's a smaller body of water, but we have live music, beautiful weather. Clouds in the sky now, we got some clouds coming. But most importantly, we're just relaxing and ultimately going with the flow. And you know what? The kids club is actually right over here where we had some lunch. Right here. Kids club. Don't know how much I can film that or what I can see, but figured show y'all where it is where you can drop your kids off. Actually, I don't even think I can get in. Access denied, but it's in there. We're back in the room, about to get ready for some pre-dinner drinks and appetizers. So we have to change to get a little bit fancy tonight. We're going to signature dining, which should be a blast. I am a sucker for when Casey puts her hair up. Woof, woof. It's almost time for dinner. Actually, we got about an hour until dinner after we go to um, Papaya again. We kind of messed up. We should have gone to the other lunch location, but we're just gonna get some more drinks before we head on up to Saba, all the way up there. Cannot wait. The menu looks great. And again, we're just going back down right there. We're all ready for dinner. You look so nice. You look so nice. Thank you. I love that you're wearing a belt and everything, oh, yeah, and your it. fancy shoes. Fancy shoes, we got everything on. With socks that match this. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. Good job. Thanks. Also, real quick, uh, thank you again to the Condren for hooking it up. They're gonna be taking care of our drinks and food tonight. Mm -hmm. So I thanks. I can't wait. We just took some, uh, some Instagrams. Uh, go follow our Instagrams, guys. <laughs> they took some uh, all by ourselves with with the, the timer and everything we yeah, did we did all, so they well have so many of these these right here these wooden poles and i feel like they're placed so that people can take selfies it's perfect probably not his intention definitely not it's, it's great it's, i think it's a light well, i mean this time we can at least kind of film it since not too many people here at the moment i think we're going back exactly where we were this time we got kind of like the head the head honcho table sunset and here's where we are we're back. My drink, Casey's drink. It's in a big clam. This one serves three to four, <laughs> but tonight it serves one. <laughs> yeah, well, I two. Eh, I have my drink. <laughs> Sun setting. It's looking mighty beautiful. And then for our appetizer, pork gyoza. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. I don't know where to cheers. Cheers. <laughs> uh, it's iconic. My, mine's good. <laughs> Whew. Those drinks were mighty great. Let's go have some dinner all the way up top to Saba. I'm excited. I've been waiting all day for this, and I feel like some of you guys were too. Seba actually has its own private elevator. Here we go. It's a differently themed elevator too. Wow, wow, wee. Ooh. Oh my gosh, it's Seba. Before we enter, it's like open atmosphere. Wow, the views. Oh, you can see all of Disney property.
This place is nice. Let me change the settings here real quick because I'm very orange. That should be a lot better. It's way louder in here than I had thought, but it is beautiful. You can tell this is signature dining. Like, look at that chandelier. Say it with me, everybody. Wow, wow, we, uh. <laughs> Quick look at the menu here. We already know what we want. But what do you guys want? But check out this end here. The Bray's short rib, $145 for that bad boy. It's probably really hard to hear me, but one thing to know about their spirit collection is they're very big on spirits here, and they have the largest collection of agave liquors at this location. I wasn't gonna get a drink, but after hearing that, I feel like I need to try something. So I'm gonna get one that has G4 tequila blanca infused with butterfly tea and citrus. Sounds yummy. Ladies and gents, that is the guacamole. Happily ever after. What an incredible experience as we're walking out. We have a convertible roof here. Because we are in Florida after all, if it starts raining, this closes. Dinner, it was way too loud to record in there, but all I gotta say is it was incredible. Incredible. Sure the corn appetizers that we got, phenomenal. The you guac we got, stop talking about phenomenal. Could, my sister would love that corn dish. Yes. Or appetizers. The Wagyu was the second best Wagyu I've ever had in my life. For I've the had, entrees. yeah, for yeah. the entrees. I, mm -hmm. I've, I've had actual Wagyu in Japan. This was Australian Wagyu, mm -hmm. close enough to Japan, it was right? Skirt steak. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was skirt so steak. Good. And they asked, um, or they said that it was going to come the perfect temperature, so you didn't have to give your preference for that. So good. Atmosphere was wonderful. So the good. service was one step above. Our server came out after we left, and he said both of our names, first names. Thanked us for being there. It was, it was truly an experience. It was great. And they surprised us with dessert. Oh my gosh, the desserts were unreal. We had um, this one dessert that looked like a corn in the cob. And there is actually corn in that with jalapeno, but it was not spicy at all. And the outside, they made it look like corn. So the outside was just white chocolate molded, but there was some corn on the inside. It was super tasty, really light, and that was their most popular dessert on the menu. They had a chocolate one, and then my favorite was the... The passion fruit. Passion. It was like a, it looked like a taco. I did try a little bite. I'm just trying to like introduce passion fruit back into my, my diet again. I think I'm like mildly allergic. I didn't have a reaction, so yeah, it was really good. Just like today. What a day we yeah. had. This was a staycation unlike any other. Mm -hmm. Five-star resort, obviously this Five is- Five-star experience, that's for sure. Incredible. Yeah. Thank you, Conrad, for uh, having us, and thank you so much for um, sponsoring the video. And like thank I said so much. earlier as well, I did uh, get some compensation for this video as well too, but this was mm -hmm. just unbelievable. What an opportunity, and I look forward to uh, many more opportunities mm -hmm. in the future in Staycation Sundays around the corner. So uh, yeah. with that, do you have anything else? Uh, just a reminder that all of our opinions are factual. You know, we, even though it was a paid opportunity, it was still an experience that we will never forget. And I feel truly blessed to have been able to experience everything from today. Ditto. <laughs> I feel so happy. I'm gonna sleep like a baby tonight with this I can't wait. sleep sounds. I can't wait. Or check out time is 1 p.m. I know, so we <laughs> like, can sleep in. We're sleeping uh, in. We're sleeping in. We'll see you guys we tomorrow. <laughs> Cause we what? We did not sleep in today. We, we did not. We here bright and early for a good reason. This is what great. Day. Thank you, Conrad. And thank you everybody for watching the video. Yeah, thank video, you. oh my gosh. If you have made it to the end of this video, comment down below. We love you, Conrad, down mm -hmm. below. And with that, we'll see you tomorrow. Peace out, bye-bye. Bye-bye.